Hi everybody, welcome to GoTo Kitchens. We're gonna show you one of your favorite episodes right now. You're gonna watch this over and over again because I bet you like chocolate. I'm here with Dana, and uh, this is Dana's recipe for making homemade chocolate. And these are the ingredients that you can see here. Dana is gonna be famous for her kale chips in a previous episode. <laughs> so if you remember Dana from a previous episode, it's because she made me eat kale. No, uh, it's because <laughs> uh, she made me eat kale and I liked it. So, but now she's gonna make me eat chocolate and I have never turned down a piece of chocolate ever in my entire life. So we're gonna make chocolate here for you today. And you're not gonna start today, right? Okay, no, so I here's what you're gonna need today. You're gonna need a small, thin baking dish of some kind that is oven safe. <laughs> Dana has a piece of parchment that she has so nicely prepared down in here so it doesn't, uh, obviously, so it comes out of the pan easily. Um, you're gonna want an unsweetened organic uh, cocoa. And then Dana, will you talk to us a little bit about the other option? Or you can use cacao. Okay. And I love cacao, it's my favorite. It's high in magnesium and iron. It's got some good um, dietary fiber. Um, it's made, my understanding is, is it's made from the same plant as the cocoa, it's just a different portion of it. Okay. Um, but it tastes very much like cocoa. Um, I just prefer the um, superfood nutrition that comes from cacao, and so anything that calls for cocoa, I use cacao. Okay. So uh, coconut oil, we have a, I have a giant vat of it. Actually, I'm gonna be needing more after this. Uh, we're gonna use some raw unfiltered honey, um, and then we're gonna use some uh, pure vanilla extract. And we're, these things are optional. These next two things are optional. So coconut, uh, chia seeds. Uh, Dana was talking about using hemp seeds and she does use a sea salt uh, as well in the chocolate. Uh, but those things would be optional. You can just make plain chocolate with none of these ingredients or you can put these ingredients and we'll show you how those will apply. But we have some coconut here <coughs> and some chia seeds and some salt. So we already have our coconut, uh, cocoa uh, measured out. So we're gonna go over to the stove. Half and I'm a cup. And I've just put the um, burner on low uh, because I don't want the coconut oil to get hot. I just want it to melt. Um, and the, the biggest reason for that is, that's really hard to get out of there. Um, the biggest reason is, is because we're gonna put the honey in and we're using raw honey that um, hasn't been processed and we wanna try to keep um, the nutrients that are already in it and, and not heat them up and lose those. Better half a cup, we're just gonna put it in here and we're going to, I've got it um, on like, I don't know, a three on my um, stove. So we're just gonna let it. So Dana cooks on electric and I cook on electric as well. Same thing, slick top stove like this. So if you're using gas or, or uh, or any other form of electric. We have it on, and you can't see it, but she has uh, two to 10, which would be low to high. And so she's got it on three. So you want it on kind of a medium low, but closer to the low. 25% on. Yeah, 25. <laughs> so how's that for some explanation? If you're not confused yet, just hang on, because we have more confusion to come. Uh, and while we're doing that, why don't we get the honey prepared? So, Hopefully so we're just gonna be. throw this in here now. Um, there's a couple of little small chunks of coconut oil, but that's gonna be fine. So let's scrape that out there, Leslie. Come out. And this was something that I had to learn because when I was reading recipes online for making your own chocolate, everybody just said, put the honey in and stir it up until it's all mixed well. Well, nobody said that honey and oil don't mix. <laughs> and so I tried several different honeys. Um, I tried higher temperatures, lower temperatures, and I was just, I was like, okay, I, I've done something wrong. Clearly I've done something wrong. Um, it's not you. Okay. It's the recipes. Nobody just failed to share that information, I guess. So you so, can see here the yeah, separation. If you can exactly. let me get the camera a little bit lower down here, but you can see the separation um, in the honey and the oil. You can see the little bubbles of honey in the bottom. When I pull it away, you can see the separation. So, so don't fret if that's the case. It's going to, it's the cocoa is what pulls it all together. 
Okay. Um, and that would have been good information for me in the beginning. So we're just going to pour in, and we don't even need the heat on anymore, really. Um, so we're just going to pour it in, stir it up. Just slowly or just till it's yep. mixed up? So oh my gosh, okay. We're just going to let it kind of glaze over. And at this point, it truthfully doesn't even have to be on the heat anymore. So um, can we use this as a sauce and something else? I mean, could you? You can use it for anything. Hmm. I just dip your spoon in it. But like, let's say you had a recipe where you wanted to do something more natural um, than buying, you know, Nestle's morsels at Walmart. Okay. Um, yeah, you make these. Make your own um, little chips. Yeah, and you can just, you know, you can Chunk chop them. them up, cut them up. I mean, way we have them sitting in that little tray, I mean, you can just break them up. I could um, see throwing this down into like some natural like yogurt. Uh, <laughs> like in the bottom of the yogurt, like at the bottom of the container and then putting your yogurt and it would get a little hard, but you'd have that little crunch in right. there. You just have to remember that the coconut oil, when it gets cold, it is gonna solidify again. Yeah, yeah. Because coconut oil melts at anything above 76 degrees. Um, I'm just all right. gonna stick that back in the light and you can see it there, the consistency really well. Oh, I missed a corner. I got it. I don't wanna waste any cocoa, that's good stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. So lastly, we're gonna put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Can you believe how easy it is? This is almost easier than driving to Walmart and buying chocolate. What do you mean, almost? <laughs> <laughs> what do I mean, almost? Depends. Are we done there? We're More? done. Okay. So now we just need to go back over to our little tray. It smells <clears throat> good. All right. So this we're just is, gonna... This is warm though. I don't want to set that on your countertop. Grab you a trivet. You don't want to just hold on to it forever? Not really, no. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> So we're just gonna take some sea salt and sprinkle it on the bottom. It just adds a little What does that do? Them. Just to give the little It just gives it a little yumminess? Yeah. Okay. I, I have forgotten to do it before and I've regretted it. Ah, well don't um, do that. So now I make a mental note to always do it. Okay, so we're gonna kind of mix it up here a little bit. At this point, you could literally just pour this chocolate in here. Um, or we're gonna add, do a little add-ons. And I should also just mention, if you don't have like a little tray, a little casserole dish, um, you can use anything. A baking dish. You could put it on a plate. You could literally just put down some parchment paper and pour it on the parchment paper. You could it, mold it too, right? I mean, yeah. you could put it in molds. Yeah, I, I like to overdo things. So I have like 40 different little um, silicone molds that you okay. can shape them. But <laughs> for today, I just wanted it to be easy. We're where just going to make chocolate have, bar. Yeah, you don't have to overdo things like okay. me. Um, so we're just going to add a little texture. Um, and the... Chia seeds are kind of fun, just they're, well, they're a good crunchy texture anyway, um, but they have, you know, some superfood properties, everybody says, you got some dietary fiber. This package says it's a good source of calcium, but I didn't know that until today. Um, but we're gonna believe it, you get a little extra protein, um, so that's always. And they taste good. They do taste good. Um, and then we're also going to try, do you want some that has no, just plain chocolate too? We can do that, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. So you can see what she's doing here. We're just making a little. Yeah, when we pour the coconut on, or the chocolate on, it's just gonna soak down into yeah. it, so. Um, so like this part is gonna be with the chia seeds and this part is gonna be with the coconut and then there'll be a plain part. Absolutely. Okay. And then we're just gonna pour the chocolate on. Ready? Yes, ready. All right, let's do it. And see how the chocolate just kind of is spreading out there. So it's gonna. Sorry, I'm getting close to you, but. It's okay, I like you. <laughs> We're gonna be good friends, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause you make me chocolate. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. Um, I like uniformity. I like things to be parallel and mm. proper, I guess. I yes, know. we are gonna be good friends. <laughs> You like that too? Mm, very much. I can't stand it. If there's something crooked, I'm like, fix that. You gotta fix that. <laughs> You're one of those people that walks in and sees a lampshade crooked and has to fix it right away. Yes, I'm not that bad. No, I am. Okay. So, so there that you is go. it. Um, I sprinkle a little bit more salt on top. Get your Fantastic. trace minerals that you get in there. Now, how long does this take to set up? Well, we're going to... Oh, oh, oh. Good catch. <laughs> so we're going to put it in the refrigerator. Usually I stick it in the freezer, but my freezer is very full right now. Okay. Um, so we'll just let it sit there, and I don't really know how long it takes. Maybe 15 to 30 minutes, somewhere okay. around there. It doesn't take a terribly long time. 
We'll be back with uh, with the breaking of the chocolate and uh, give you guys a, a sample of what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so we let this set, I don't know, what do you think, 15 minutes? Yeah, I would say 15 yeah. minutes or so. And it's solid. Um, <laughs> it's solid. Now I will say you need to keep it in a cool climate though. You can't just set this out on your counter now because it is coconut oil. It is going to um, melt. So, um, so I it needs to go it, back in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, it needs to go back in there. Okay. So I just like put it into little chunks. Um, oh, that's so good. You don't have to um, ask me twice. Where'd the coconut go? Which side is the coconut side, do you I don't think? Know. Right here. Oh. Coconut right there. Here's the coconut end. I'm doing that end. See the coconut in the back there? Yummy. Oh, that is really good. Yep. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh, and the sea salt is really tasty and yummy. Yeah, it melts very easily, so you want to be a little careful with that. Uh, don't keep it in your car or anything because you're going to be in trouble. Don't try to take it to work unless you have a refrigerator. So. Yeah, I would say just munch on it as every time you walk by the refrigerator until it's gone. Good idea. All right, so this has been GoTo Kitchens. Thank you very much. I got chocolatey fingers. That means it's a good day when you have chocolate on your fingers. Um, if you have any questions, find us on Facebook, go to kitchens.com, email us, go to kitchens, excuse me, go to kitchens at gmail.com. <laughs> I'm too busy eating chocolate to tell you the rest. So, uh, if you have any questions or concerns or ideas or kitchens or anything, please find us. We'd be happy to talk to you. You guys have a great day and enjoy your chocolate. Thanks for watching again. Ask me, chat with me, hang out with me. Learn with me, pen me, go to kitchens.com.